perpetual state of simplicity and ignorance. Look, we need to make sure that we get the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that we need so that we don't live a life of sin through ignorance. We, how can we obey God's laws if we don't even know what they are? How can we obey the Bible if we don't even know what the Bible says? How can we know what God expects of us if we've never even read the Bible cover to cover a single time? And the vast majority of Christians say, I'm talking about people that are saved. I'm talking about people that have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. They've been born again. I'd say 99% have never read through the Bible cover to cover. And then you wonder, why they go to these churches that are just teaching all kinds of false doctrine. You wonder why they're living lives of fornication and drunkenness and stupidity. I'll tell you why. It's because they didn't read the word of God. They're simple. They're unwise. They're ignorant. And even if their heart's in the right place, they're still going to live a life of sin unless they have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to avoid sin, to foresee the evil and hide themselves to live a life that's right. Go to Romans chapter 16. You see, the sin of ignorance is still a sin. Yeah. The Bible doesn't say, if any man sin through ignorance, that's okay, let's just forget about it. He said, if there's a sin of ignorance, this is the blood offering that you have to do. Here's the burnt sacrifice you have to make, obviously under the Old Testament system with the sacrifices. It was still considered sin and they still had to pay for it. Yeah. And so uh, we don't want to just be ignorant and unwise and unknowledgeable, and then we end up getting into sin. Maybe because we didn't even know what the commandment was. I can't even tell you how many people I've talked to that talked about messing up their life in various ways, and they said, well, if I would have heard this preaching when I was younger, I never would have, I would never would have done that. Yeah. I never would have lived that way. I wish I would have learned these things sooner. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to go to church and learn. You got to read your Bible and learn. Why? Because knowledge is power. Knowledge is going to save you from the strange woman. Knowledge is going to save you from the pit that's laid in front of you. Knowledge and wisdom and understanding is going to preserve you and keep you and guide you through this life, whereas simplicity is just a recipe for disaster. The turning away of the simple shall slay them. I mean, it's life or death. You know how many people have died just from doing stupid?